After material has been dried, what we want to make sure is that we do not allow this uh, board to be in direct contact with moisture. So that would be raining on or actually in, in direct contact with, with very high condensation. Another thing is that where, where we store that material is going to be very important. We do not want to store material in an unheated building, especially in the winter months. Okay, and That's going to help keep that EMC at a much more constant level. We don't want a severe change or we don't, we don't want this material to change severely in moisture content from one place to the next. If we move buildings or we move facilities and that moisture content changes dramatically, this is where problems can arise within the overall quality of one a product or the overall quality of, of material. Another thing to think about is what the end, where that end use is going to be. If we're taking product out and it's going to a construction site, significant problems can arise because we cannot um, efficiently control the relative humidity within that construction site. So if materials are moving from a shop to a, let's say, a garage of a house to be stored, we can expect the moisture content to raise or rise significantly from that, that shop to that, that garage because we're not being able to control that humidity or that temperature within that garage. Precautions definitely need to be taken. That type of situation should be avoided. Before I sign off, let me leave you with one solid bit of advice. Spotting any potential moisture problems and being able to avoid those problems is key in your success in any project that you may be doing with wood. On behalf of Wagner Moisture Meters, I'm Charlie Phillips.